Today is my birthday. It's turned 34 years old. So fucking crazy. So crazy how time flies by, man. Out here at my beach house in Malibu behind me. Look at this beach. You know, me and my girl. Of course, you can't see her. But just reflecting on this, the, I was thinking about the 10 years I've been in the game as a producer, man. Like, the ups and the downs. Everything I went through. You know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I always like to reflect on my birthday, but this time I was just reflecting on my career as a producer, man. I'm so grateful. I got to work with so many platinum artists, and I and I'm still am. And a lot of the biggest artists in the world, I can now call them my best friends. I couldn't imagine that. I never would have thought that this shit was gonna happen. Like when I started making beats and shit, I, I knew I knew I was good, but I never, I really didn't think I was gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? Just flipping burgers at McDonald's, dude. This shit was just a dream. You know, now I'm in a in Malibu in a, in a fucking three-story beach house off of making beats. And it, it, you couldn't have told me about, you couldn't even told me this shit 10 years ago. Having a fucking GED, being shit on by your parents, people telling you that this producer shit ain't gonna work out. You need to go to the Air Force. You know what I mean? Never having an AB on the road, making all Fs because the teacher said I daydream trying to put me on Ritalin, trying to make it seem like I had an issue and stuff. And now that same school that failed me, they want me to come and teach the classroom for music and they want me to come and, and motivate the students. Crazy. You know what I mean? Like you couldn't have, you couldn't have told me this. I wouldn't believe this. So I kind of woke up just thinking about this shit, thinking about the trials and tribulations. You know, when I got, when I did my first hit, going through different managers, people trying to screw you over, having to learn about business. It's, a, it's crazy when you're a producer because, well, I'm gonna say this, it's crazy when you're a creator because we're not businessmen, we're creators. Most creators, they're not businessmen. Like, we, we make beats on a laptop in our bedroom. Next thing you know, you end up blowing up managers. Everybody wants a piece of publishing. Everybody wants a piece that wants their hand in a pot and you got to figure out a whole nother ball game taxes you got to figure you got to hire a cpa accountant a manager for this people over here want 15 percent. people over here want 20 percent. people over here want five percent so the ups and downs of the business part you know in the 10 years of all the work i put in the game when i woke up and reflected about that i was like damn i came a long fucking way I really did make it, you know? So I kind of also want to do this video just to motivate the producers. Like, man, if you out there and you listening to this and you watching this at three minutes and 22 seconds, and I know you hear this shit a lot, but don't ever, don't ever give up on your dreams, man. Like always work hard towards your dreams, no matter what the fuck people say. Sometimes you have to be your own cheerleader. Sometimes your, your friends and your family members, they're not gonna show up. They're not gonna fully believe and support you. But I'm a living testament. I was flipping burgers at McDonald's just 10 years ago. You see what I'm saying? Like my family, my own fucking mom, she ain't really support me like that. She was trying to get me to go to the Air Force because I didn't have good grades enough to get a real job. You know what I mean? Like it was fucked up. Living with my ex-girlfriend, using her laptop to make beats. I didn't even have a car, I had to use her car. You know what's crazy about that shit? Is when you, when you, live in, when you living with somebody, you, you gotta watch how you get in an argument with them because then they might kick you out or they might cut your phone off. It, I, and I went shit like that, like, you know, just bullshit. So now guess what? Everybody that did me wrong, they all follow me on Instagram. And if you look at the messages they're sending to me, it looked like they talking to themselves because I don't respond. People will sleep on you. But one day I promise they'll wake up working for you and asking you for a job. The time clock period. Let them sleep on you. Because one day they're going to wake up and they're going to ask you for a job. One day they're going to wake up and they're going to sleep on time. And the tables are going to turn. Trust me, that was me. So I just wanted to 
shoot this little vlog real quick. You know, it's my birthday. I'm about to die on my fucking birthday. Fucking tsunami, what the fuck was that? Fuck. And I'm gonna leave that footage in here because that shit was real. That shit really happened. I ain't even gonna edit this shit. Talk about fucking mouth over just a minute ago. I don't know if I should be doing this Malibu shit. This shit dangerous out here. You got mountain. Ain't no coast guards or nothing. It's just me in the fucking wilderness. 